In digital logic, besides the basic logical gates, the multiplexer is one of the more common devices to facilitate Boolean logic in a circuit. In simplest terms, the multiplexer is a type of switch. Given two or more inputs, a multiplexer will be able to choose the appropriate input signal based on the select bits and use it as an output. As you can see from the diagram, the multiplexer has four input bits. Labeled D0 to D3, the two select bits are labeled S1 and S0. These two bits together are the binary representation of the bit to be selected. If the circuit required bit 2 to be selected, S1 and S0 would be 1, 0 respectively. This is true because 1, 0 is the binary representation of the number 2 in decimal. The following is a truth table for the 4 to 1 MUX. This table can be directly translated into a K-map, and both the equivalent sum of product and product of sum expressions can be derived. In this video, I will be showing how a Boolean expression can be implemented using only a single multiplexer. Let's say we have a Boolean function of four variables. f of w, x, y, z is equal to x naught z naught plus w naught x plus w x plus x, y, z. We will express this function with four different sizes of multiplexers. The first, a 16 to 1 multiplexer. Next, an 8 to 1, a 4 to 1, and a 2 to 1. Something to note, the number of multiplexer inputs must be a power of 2. For the 16 to 1 multiplexer, we will first draw the k-map for the function. In a 16 to 1 mux, we will use all four variables as select bits. With the 16 to mux, we have 16 inputs to use. One can simply use the variables as select bits and make each of the inputs constant. This is one of the simplest implementations of the function. Watch as the k-map is filled up. We can then use each of the min terms of this k-map and map them directly to the multiplexer as such. The following is the truth table for f of w, x, y, z and the equivalent 16 to 1 mux. The four inputs for the function w, x, y, z correspond to the select bits. The output of the function is the same as the output of the mux. Therefore, the mux is an accurate representation of the Boolean function. In our next implementation, we will be using the 8 to 1 mux. In an 8 to 1 mux, we only have three select bits to use. This means that we can only use three of our Boolean variables. The 8 to 1 mux and 16 to 1 mux should represent the same Boolean function. We'll use a modified k-map for this function. We remove w from the select bits and are only using x, y, and z. To fill the k-map, we will use the smaller k-map for the 8 to 1 mux and directly compare it to the larger one of the 16 to 1. Starting from x, y, z is equal to 0, 0, 0, we will look at the 16 to 1 mux's k-map. For x, y, z equals 0, 0, 0, we can see that for whatever value of w, the output is 1. Therefore, on the 8 to 1 mux's k-map, we will place 1 at x, y, z is equal to 0, 0, 0. For x, y, z is equal to 0, 0, 1, we will once again check the larger k-map. At these two locations, the outputs are different. Because of this, we cannot just put a constant value on the k-map. Instead, we will compare the output to the value of w. You will notice that when w is equal to 0, the output is 1, while when w is equal to 1, the output is 0. Therefore, on the k-map, we should place w naught where x, y, z is equal to 0, 0, 1. The rest of the k-map will be filled in a similar fashion. 
After the kmap is full, we now have the appropriate inputs for the 8 to 1 mux. Here is the truth table for f of wxyz and the equivalent 8 to 1 mux. Notice that the output of the function and the output of the 8 to 1 mux are equivalent. Therefore, the 8 to 1 mux accurately represents the function. The third and fourth implementations of the function will be done with the 4 to 1 and 2 to 1 mux, respectively. The method is exactly the same as explained previously. However, as the number of select bits decreases, the number of Boolean variables in each input increases. For yz is equal to 0, 0, we look at the kmap of the Boolean function f and express the outputs in terms of w and x. The rest of the kmap is filled accordingly, and the inputs for the 4 to 1 mux are found. The 2 to 1 mux is found in the exact same manner, except the inputs can be Boolean functions of up to three variables. We have now shown how to express the same Boolean function using different sizes of multiplexers. This is an extremely useful skill when dealing with cost and efficiency constraints in designing digital logic circuits.